welcome back to my channel. Let's get pumping started using Brow Bow Conditioner by Benefit to kind of sculpt the brows just a little bit. This is probably the most effective brow conditioner I've ever used. If you have not tried it yet, I definitely recommend it. It's like really good. It really works. I feel like my brows are super hairy recently by using it. So I'm just filling out my brows as always with the Medium Brown Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills, starting in the front and then going towards the back. Making sure I fill the sparse areas because, I mean, I'm trying to grow everything back, but slowly but surely, it is coming there. Now after that, I'm going to set my brows with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel, as always. And then we're going to conceal my brows with NC25 from MAC. And I'm using a line perfection brush from Sigma. It's super easy to really clean up the brows and I just love the way this looks. Concealed brows for the win. So I'm just gonna conceal them and then I'm going to smudge and blend with my finger as well because I feel like it just blends out way better with the warmth of your finger. Now I primed my lids with Painterly by MAC and we're using the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows in Mad About You. This is a really pretty palette, guys. Definitely recommend it. Using Mesmerize and an E40 from Sigma, I'm going to put this in the crease, blending back and forth using windshield wiper motions in a way, and I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth in like that halo part of the eye. And this is going to be our somewhat transition color, you guys know me. I put a million transition colors in the crease just because I want my looks to be super, super blended. Bring this up to the brow bone just slightly, just to make sure that it's nice an airbrush looking. Now I finally used the Kylie brush for the first time. It's uh, pretty nice. I really like the texture and the feel of them on my eye. I'm taking Heavenly and just deeping that crease area. And I just really like the way this felt with, I don't know, with Kylie's brushes. It was actually very, very nice. I was very surprised. So I'm just putting this all in the crease area, just deepening it bringing more dimension to the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with passion and warm up that area as well. You can see I'm, it looks like I'm doing a halo effect. But I'm just really bringing some color to the crease and to the overall eye look. And I know people get mad at me like when I'm like doing all this pretty blending and then I'm like put a black color on, but it just, it really creates a nice look for a smoky eye. I just love everything to be blended and colorful. And then if I want to put another color over it, why not? It just makes it look like nice and soft and blended and perfect. I'm taking Mia Moore with an E58 from Sigma and I'm going to pack this on. This is a really nice char charcoal color. It's not super black. It's not super gray. It's like right in the middle. And it blends with these warm colors really nicely. So I think that's why they chose this charcoaly color instead of a super black color and I really like it. But you could pack it on as much as you'd like, and I feel like it still does bring out a nice black pigment that's not too drastic, you know what I mean? And it's super easy to blend. Um, I was blending this back and forth with the Kylie brush and, you know, the E58 going back and forth, making sure that I like the pigment, and I feel like it just blended out really, really nicely. I also put the Mia Moore on the Kylie brush just a little bit, just so that it blended nicely. Now I'm using the Tarte Rose Gold Liner. I'm going to start with the left one and I'm just, you know, winging it out. Starting with the lid, doing a straight line. And I got my lashes soaked with this, which is fine. You know, rose gold's pretty, so looks pretty on the lashes too. And I just, you know, started to angle up towards my brow and created like a little triangle and filled it in. It was a little difficult, obviously the brush is very flimsy, um, but the pigment is so opaque and beautiful, you don't really need that too many coats, but um, it is very, very wet, so I would be careful with blinking and all that kind of stuff because you do want it to dry, but it's super pretty, isn't it? I love it. And I love the way it looked with the contrast of the black. You know, sometimes I get these ideas, you know what I mean? Even though I'm sure people have done it before. <laughs> so, just creating that wing. Make sure everything is nice and filled in. And then for mascara, as always, I'm using Tarte Tardis Mascara. Going to curl those lashes to the skies. 
and just really coat them. Make sure that they're nice and black. And then we're gonna start the face. I'm using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I just wish that I could literally do my face in like a snap, but you know, that's just not how the world works, unfortunately. But I'm going to put this all over my face and then I'm using my beautiful Thanks to the Heavens for this brush, 3D HD Kabuki brush. And I'm using an Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation by Tarte today. Never used it until now. It's actually amazing. I really recommend it if you have oily to normal skin. I do have dry skin, but it actually worked with my skin pretty well. I'm always scared with these super full coverage foundations because they always seem to seep into the, my lines and you can see my lines and wrinkles more, but this actually looked really nice on my skin and I was actually very ha happy about it. Hello. Can't speak, you guys. You know, happens. But I'm just blending this all out thanks to Victoria Caputo for this recommendation for foundation because she was like obsessed with it. For lashes, I'm using Baby Love Lashes by Gigi Bell Lashes. This is my lash brand, if you guys don't know. It's coming out this summer, looking for June, hopefully. But I'm just going to pop those on with, I'm using Duo Glue and Sigma Tweezers. Love Sigma Tweezers. If you guys don't have them, you need them. They're amazing for cleaning up your brows and applying lashes. So I'm just going to pop those babies on. And then for concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in medium. Just doing the whole, you know usual thing, the triangle underneath the eyes, the little nose, contour, and little chin. And <laughs> just decided to paint some more. And then we're going to blend it out with the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge for some dancing. So I have been using the sponge you guys know for forever, but you know it's not like this anymore. Tarte changed the shape of it. And still haven't used the new one yet, but I'm like holding on to these for dear life because I just love the density of these blenders. I just love it. I don't know why. I just like, I'm really harsh with my face though. I think that's probably why I like the density of it. But I also feel like it gives such a nice coverage too. You know what I mean? Super nice coverage. And I think that's why I like it because it, the fact that it's dense, it just builds up the product more. Now using setting powder by Kat Von D, the locket powder. And I'm just going to set the under eye and bake just a little bit on the nose. Have really been loving this powder so far. I've been learning how to use it, trying to not look so pale with it. You just don't use too much and you don't bake for that long. Now using an F23 from Sigma and Too Faced Chocolate Soleil powder. Love this bronzer, you guys know it. Just gonna bronze up the cheekbones and the forehead and the nose a little bit, the chin, and the jawline. Make sure I don't have any double chin problems. Especially with the ponytail, you gotta watch. You gotta watch. I'm just going to bronze that up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I'm using Kink and Kisses Mark Beauty, Mark Jacobs, blush. And I like put a couple of layers of this because it wasn't showing through for some reason. I don't know if it was because I baked or what. But I use the F10 with that. Now I'm using a little smudge brush with Passion. I'm going to put this on the lower lash line and smoke it out. I just love the way the red looked underneath the eye instead of black. I feel like the red just kind of popped more. So I'm just smudging this back and forth, smoking it out, making the look nice and complete. And then I'm going to add some more Tardis Mascara and Get some mascara on my nose. Happens, happens. Just wait 60 seconds and you'll wipe it off with a Q-tip. But it happens to me almost every time. Literally. Now I'm using the glitter part of the Tarte liner and I'm just going to cover the, where I put the rose gold liner. I'm just going to put some glitter on top. And it's weird. When you pull out your eye, the liner looks a little more bumpy. But when you open and just leave your eye normal, it looks pretty straight. I'm also putting the glitter in the inner corner because I just love the way it shines. It's so pretty. This is just such a pretty... I love rose gold. Rose gold is like the color of this century, I feel like. <laughs> Setting the face with Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to use Salted Caramel by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm using a Morphe M501 brush to apply this. This is a beautiful highlight. I would definitely recommend either wetting the brush or wetting your face beforehand, though. I've been doing that with every highlighter though, not just this one. But if you want this one to be like, bang, 
definitely recommend that. For lips, I'm using Brown Sugar by Kylie Cosmetics. Just going to line the entire lip and fill it in. I have not been able to find my ginger liner or liquid lipstick and I'm freaking out just a little bit. Hopefully I find it soon. It's probably in one of my bags, but I haven't found it yet. For the liquid lipstick, I'm using Air, the metallic liquid lipstick. And I'm just putting it in the center and just, you know, smashing my lips together because that's how I blend my lipsticks. I know it's a weird one, weird technique to do, but that's just how I do it. But that is the look, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please thumbs it up for me and hit that bell to get notifications for when I upload another video. And subscribe if you haven't already because I know you want to see this face, right? You want to see it? Mm -hmm. One of you do. I know you do. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Please let me know what you like in the comments below and what you want to see next as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.